look at that world card ace of wands ace of cups ace ace of um arrows ace of swords ten of cups knight of cups i mean it's pretty incredible Hi Leo, welcome to your love reading, Leo singles specifically. However, you're here for a reason, so you don't have to be a single Leo to be here. If you found yourself here, there's something for you. There are messages for you, so welcome to you too. And welcome cross watchers. Wow, okay, so something's already starting here. <laughs> I'm gonna put it down. I actually wanted to do a little more shuffling though, so I'm, I'm keeping that down and I'm gonna do another shuffle. And look what it is, it's the 10 of cups, happiness. Leo, we're cross watchers. Sometimes I wanted to say before it came flying out that sometimes I find when I'm cross watching uh, for another person that I resonate myself. So that's normal. And remember this is a general reading, so take what resonates throw away the rest. It could be that you're resonating with a picture on a card, um, with a lot of the reading, some of the reading, possibly a totem on the table or a totem that I pull at the end. So I hope you stick around to see what your messages are. Thank you, spirit guides and angels. Can you give us some more? You already gave us the 10 of vessels, the 10 of cups for Leo, happiness. Very interesting. So healing. Let's move this up here. Okay, so first of all, with the 10 in numerology, that is about the end of a cycle, um, completing something and starting something over. And now we have the seven of pentacles. And, you know, the pentacles really is about relationships and kind of the practicalities of it. So commitment, it could be like where you're living, all those sorts of things. And this is number seven. So this is about looking back, like reflecting, and also looking at where you are and kind of getting control. And look here, the seven of pentacles in the Wildwood Tarot deck here, they call that, they say healing. So it does look like for some of you, um, there might be some healing that needs to happen in a relationship that you have either moved away from or that you're you're in now and that you might be wanting to restart. But happiness is your very first card here, Leo. So that's a really great card to have. And it really is about um, just feeling content with where you are. And some of you could be feeling this already now. It really is just about feeling happy with your um with your life and feeling like that you have love around you and support around you and that you're content. And for some of you, it could be that you're looking for that. So we'll keep going and get a better idea here. But yeah, with the seven of pentacles, it does look like that there might be for some of you in order to move on with someone, some healing that needs to go on. And really look here, you know, this this person is above this person and, and trying to heal them. So I feel like for some of you that this might be a love that it could be that a, a, an older love or just somebody from the past that's come in, that has come in or that might be coming in and that there's some healing that needs to happen here. And it could also be for some of you that you are in something um, already now, maybe you're starting and uh, just feeling like, you know, for some of you, it could feel like you're maybe giving a little bit more. It's not going to resonate for everyone. But really what I feel um, with this reading already, with the Seven of Pentacles, because this is about, you know, uh, relationships, I feel like it's getting over somebody. Um, and maybe also it could be for some of you that you need to make a peace with somebody whether that's to move on from them or to reignite because really you know this is also about um getting an outcome really you know and you and it is right next to the happiness card so i feel like for a lot of you that it, yes it's 
You've been patient and it's a lot of work, um, but it's going to be worth it. For those of you that are in a connection, um, wondering where it's going, I really feel that this is a, a message from spirit for you to be patient and to continue the path you're on of um, healing together. And if you're not, to look closer at that. Because if there's somebody that is in your life that you're feeling like is the one, but you guys need to work out some, um, have some issues to work out. This is this is a message for you directly, truly. I'm always trying to make these straight, and I I fail miserably. <laughs> Let's keep going here. What do you have for Leo, please? Thank you, spirit guides and angels. What do you have for Leo? Okay. Wow, so the Queen of Wands is showing up quite a bit lately. Very interesting. Um, it does look like, yeah, that you might feel like one or both of you might might be feeling like you need some um, assurance here that this person, uh, one of you, is not going to leave. So I do feel like some of you are in a connection now or, or reconnecting with someone. But the thing about the Queen of Wands... Um, especially in a love connection, it can be representing um, a, a love, a romantic love here. So I do feel like for many of you that this is about a, a connection, possibly from the past or now, that you're feeling like needs to get healed in order for you to either come back together or move on so that you can reach this. you have for our Leo please what messages what does Leo need to hear today thank you spirit guides and angels what do you want to say here we go I'm going to move this over here just so we can get a better view look there's the world card yeah this is about love and really very interesting there's been a lot of shuffling going on and and the Ten of um, Cups and the Queen of Wands in the, in the World card really is just coming up a lot today. It's really must be some collective energy going on here um, amongst the Zodiac signs. But really, Leo, it, sh it shows here that there's some healing to be done with somebody that you really love and that really loves you. And you might need some assurance from them. You might have been feeling a little insecure in the relationship and feeling like you you both need to heal each other but right now it looks like one person is needing it a little more um, and we will clarify that whether that is you or your person of course that can be um, vice versa I even if we clarify it and we figure out that that is you healing someone or you're the one needing the healing here it can still be vice versa so take it as it resonates and I want to say with the world card, that is a three. And that is about expressing yourself and um, growing here. And I want to say also that we have this maze here. So I do feel like for many of you that there has there is some serious love here between you and another person. Um, but that has been challenging. And with the world card, it really is about... Um, either completing it and healing it so you can move on from this love, unfortunately, for some of you. But I do feel like for most of you that this is about uh, moving on to the next level. And this is a message from Spirit about healing before you can do that. Because it really is about completing sort of some steps, so to speak, and being able to move on to the next step. And traveling uh, toward love together. Now, this could be about... I'm physically traveling, but I don't feel that's the case in this situation. I really feel like that unless this is a long distance connection for some of you, possibly um, needing to heal it that way, maybe through messages or traveling to each other. That could also be the case for some of you. But this is someone that you really love that loves you and um, that you are having some possibly some no contact with some separation or you're coming together and trying to trying to get back together. What do you have here for Leo? 
If there is some healing either taking place or needing to play, take place. Okay, so we have a few cards. I'm going to keep them all. There's three here. There's the other two. Okay, so we have the Ace of Wands. And that's, a, you know, relationship and, and just a really passionate, lustful relationship here. Look, spark of life. So, yeah, this is a person that you um, have a lot of sparks with as well. Now, I feel like that this is not something new, that this is, this is something that um, is possibly reigniting for you. Take that as it resonates. For some of you, now it can be new because what I wanted to say, um, Ace of Bows is the Ace of Wands, and that can also be about a new love. So for some of you, this is something new coming in, and it could be that it's you needing to heal yourself here, okay? And love yourself so take that as it resonates um, I do feel like that is the case for some of you but for many of you I just really feel like this is kind of restarting something and needing to heal so that you can move on to the next step but like I said for those of you that um, feel like that is not resonating for you there is also an energy here for some of you about healing yourself and being able to move on so that you can accept a new love so take that as it resonates. Look, here we go again. Ace of Cups. Okay. Yeah, so that can be about a new relationship. There we go. Look, it's double confirmation here or a new start for some of you. And for some of you, like I said, there might need to be some healing so you can kind of continue on, complete some steps and go to the next level with this person that some of you are already really in love with that love you. Now, um, really interesting here is, yeah, this next step for some of you could be a proposal or marriage or even a baby. So take that as it resonates. And I want to say to you um, that if this is, if you're not feeling like, well, I'm not healing from anybody right now, then this really for you is about healing yourself and loving yourself so that you can take the next steps that you need to take and and complete some, some kind of lessons, you know, learn some lessons for yourself in order to accept new love here because we have the Ace of Wands and the Ace of Vessels, you know, Ace of Vessels, Ace of Cups, and they're, they're really both about new relationships. You know, with the wand energy here, this is about relationships and something really passionate. The Ace of Cups is a little more, probably a little more traditional just in the sense that it um, could involve a proposal or a baby. But either way, there's a lot of love on the table. So whether this is with someone you're healing with or this is love coming, it's a very loving relationship and looks like it will go further. But there's some healing needing to be done either with yourself or with another person that you might be reconnecting with. Um, this is the other card I was holding on to for you, Leo. So the King of Stones, that's actually the King of Pentacles. Yeah, okay, so there's some more Earth energy. And there's a lot of Capricorn Virgo Taurus energy here. And I'm feeling like uh, this really is about... I'm feeling secure and commitment and I do feel like that there's going to be some commitment going on here soon if not already that this is going to be a really committed relationship that goes further but also very um, so very emotional and attached a lot of love here with the Queen of Wands but also very passionate <laughs> so this is actually really um, I like this reading for you Leo let's get one more card Yeah, and it looks like for you, um, there's actually two coming here. It looks like for you um, that this person as well, or this could possibly be you, is, let me just move these over here. Okay, are we ready? It could uh, be that this person here really wants to... Um, Take the time to uh, put the time in that you to make this relationship work is what I want to say. Um, for those of you that are for those of you that are reconnecting with somebody or this is even something new, this person wants to put the time in. 
Okay, there's a lot of love here and there's a lot of commitment here, I see, with the King of Stones. Okay, so you also have the, the wow, the Ace of Arrows, so the Breath of Life. Um, now this is Swords and this is also New Love. Um, wow, yeah, interesting. And this is also about getting some clarity. You know, it really is about kind of, um, so it could be some Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy here. But this is about getting like... Um, making just the right decisions and kind of getting some clarity on things. And like I said, for some of you, there is some healing to be done with someone in order to reconnect or to take this relationship the next level. Um, and for others, this is about healing yourself and getting some clarity on what it and what exactly that is that you need to do because sword energy can sometimes mean um, conflict and it doesn't necessarily mean with another person it can also be with you like these ideas old ideas that you have of who you are or what it is you want maybe that has changed and maybe there's some some self-talk that needs to be reversed here um maybe some ideas that you've lived in about what you can or you think you can or can't have because you are deserving of love and you can have it leo so that's a message from spirit for those of you that need to hear it and that was not meant to be <laughs> a poem here and this is another cup coming down uh, cup card coming down for you is the knight of let me get one more for you here knight of cups okay that's really interesting uh yeah because that is prince charming or princess coming in look at this now leo you have the Ace of Bows, the Ace of Wands, the Ace of Vessels, which is the Ace of Cups. Now we have the Knight of Cups here, the Knight of Vessels. And really that is about someone coming in again with a proposal. So there's definitely, you know, and with the Ace of Cups here, that's what this is all about. This could be, and it's very emotional. And look, emotion is like... Uh, all over the place here. So whether this is something, someone you're reconnecting with or somebody from your past or somebody you're in with now, it doesn't necessarily mean it's past energy. It could be someone that you've just been dating and there needs to be some um, healing and talks going on. And as I said, for some of you, this is about healing so that you, with a person that you can move to the next level with, which uh, looks like for a lot of you could be, um, you know, love, marriage, what is that love marriage and the baby carriage? That's not going to resonate for everyone, but that's pretty strong here. So keep in mind that that can mean different things for different people too. Uh, it could also just mean moving in or getting animals and whatnot. But this is about the next level. So whether that means for you healing so that you're opening yourself up to this new love that's all over the table, or this is a new um, love in terms of a connection that you have already been in either in the past or now that just needs some work that needs a little bit of work here um, in order to take the next level but there's a lot of love here a lot of passion a lot of emotion it's a really intense connection i want to get one more for you although it's really hard to top the knight of cups i have to say <laughs> because that really is um, and that here's the other thing too leo is it could be uh, that this is you going to make an offer to somebody else. So it could be somebody offering, making an offer to you. Leo, are you making an offer? So take that as it resonates. And look, this is the last card we're pulling from the tarot. And it's the seven of bows. And this really is about, look, it's clearance. So clearing the way for yourself. So I do feel like for some of you, there is, um, this is a confirmation here with the seven of pentacles about clearing things up so you can take the next step. Now that's going to mean something different for um, for every one of you. For some of you, it really means about clearing the path with the person. Clearing the path literally so that you guys can get here because this is some fiery energy. And for some of you, you need to clear and heal so that you can move on. And it really is like burning up, you know, kind of like getting over the past, okay? So that could be for you, uh, so that you can move on and, ex and, and see and accept this new love. Or it could also be um, a message for you and a person that you're in something with, 
whether you're going toward them or they're coming toward you with a bigger offering, but needing to clear some things first, needing to heal something here. And like I said, this is a really strong love and it's really passionate as well. I really love that for you. Um, the other thing about the seven is it, it is about kind of looking back and taking kind of assessment about where you are. And it's also about getting some, um, it could be about not being in control, but I feel like in this sense, it's just about getting a little control and it really is just about releasing something and healing um, and just maybe reflecting on the past and healing it and letting it go so that you can move on toward the next level with your person or this new love that's coming for you, Leo. This is a really great reading for you. Let's just get a little bit of Lover's Oracle card here and then some charms, totems. What do you have for our Leos and our Leo singles or our Leo kind of single, <laughs> want to be single, whatever that means for you, Leo. You're here for a reason. I thank you. And again, welcome. So let's see what we have. What are your messages from the Lover's Oracle today? Okay, interesting, because this was up and it really is just coming uh, again. Transformation. Your relationship with one another is about to deepen. Love conquers and transforms all things. Yeah, I really, um, so this is, for some of you, this could be the, the upcoming energy. And remember, you have free will, how this outcome is, okay? Or wh how, what, what move you're going to make if this is a new love coming in. But for those of you in the love that I talked about that need some healing here, that need to let go of the past and transform, in order to move to the next level. This is your confirmation here. Spirit has just sent this message that it is about to deepen. Um, and I really feel like there is a lot of love here for some of you with someone already. And um, like I said, this really is representing going to that next level. And this is exactly what this is telling us. So that is a confirmation from Spirit. Whoops. Okay, you have a few here. I'm going to keep them for you, okay? Imagine all unwanted thoughts dissolving into light, creating room for new opportunities and possibilities for your life. I love that very much. And here's the thing, the seven of bows also could represent that, that it's not even just necessarily clearing things with a person, but also clearing things for yourself, the unwanted thoughts. And as we talked about with the ace of arrows here, any self-talk that you might have given yourself, anything negative or things that your beliefs that don't benefit you, that you think about yourself, old beliefs maybe that you've held on to from, um, you know, past relationships that didn't work or your childhood or whatever that is. So imagine all unwanted thoughts dissolving into light, creating room for new opportunities and possibilities in your life. Look, and I want to say that this really goes with this for sure, because this is a fire, but this is also light. And I really feel like that for a lot of you that this is about um, getting rid of those old ideas as well, past ideas. We talked about clearing the path and clearing the path of the past. And you can't just burn it all up and never look back. I, I realize that. Or even just, you know, you can replace new thoughts in your head with positive ones. It doesn't mean that the negative won't pop up sometimes. So there is healing. I feel like this really does represent for everyone in any way to heal yourself, regardless of whether this is also with a person. Because we do live with... Um, you know, things that have happened in the past and who we are. It's not that we can just jump over and escape it all. They make us who we are, our past experiences and, and people. But we can work through it and feel it and heal it so that we can have a, um, a happier life, a, a life of, you know, this life that we're wanting here. Look, with contentment and joy, the Ten of Cups, you know, and that's what you have on the table, Leo. Look, just what we're talking about. Look inside yourself. Examine what is causing you to feel this way. I really do feel like for some of you that this is something to think about, okay? 
Sacred Union, honor and treasure your relationship for it is truly sacred. Now I want to say first of all that this is about your relationship with yourself, but this also is going to apply to those of you that are, are in this connection now that you're healing and moving on with, because look at that world card, Ace of Wands, Ace of Cups, Ace, Ace of um, Arrows, Ace of Swords, Ten of Cups, Knight of Cups. I mean, it's pretty incredible, really, if you think about it. So, and this also, of course, will relate to a relationship that you're in or that is coming for you. And your last card for the Lover's Oracle is Playfulness. Laughter is the best therapy. Have some fun together. And remember, love is the greatest healer. I love that. Yes, exactly. So, you know, I really do feel like for yourself, but also if you are healing with another person now so that you guys can get to the next levels that you want to get to, that this is a really great sign for you just to um, maybe have a little more fun together. But you really have some amazing cards here. And amazing things ahead, Leo. So here's your totem box. I'm going to pull a couple of totems for you. Let's try to be a little quieter. <laughs> it's a little bit loud. Okay, so whoops. First of all, we have a little alligator here, which is about um, channeling your strength. And I do feel like that this is uh, something that we all could use more of, whether it's to let go of our own negative thoughts, to let go of some past negative energy or people, or simply to have the strength to continue on and, and heal yourself. And also for some of you, a relationship that you are in that is really heading for everything. And for those of you not in one now, really, I, I feel like this is a strong message for you for some healing for yourself. And, you know, just to take your time, the time, all the time that you need in order to feel ready. But new love, whether that's someone from the past or someone totally new, is on the table for you. And look, your heart is protected here. Spirit is with you. That is what this means for me when it comes up. It's a really beautiful heart totem. Um, very interesting look. We have a maple leaf, so you could be Canadian. That won't resonate for everybody. Um, and we have another leaf here. So this really is about change. And I do feel like that you're in the middle of that now or it's coming up for you. And it could be for some of you that um, some of this is going to be happening in the fall. But take it as it resonates. And look, you have the moon and stars here. So you are being guided. I do feel like you... Um, know what you need to do here, whether it's healing yourself or this relationship you're in that you're healing. But spirit is with you. You're not alone. And look, you got another alligator. So that's a double confirmation for you. And your last totem is a guitar pick. Now, this could literally mean that you are, what's a little bit, I just want to clean it up a little bit here. Look, this is McCabe's. It's a place in a Los Angeles, I want to say, um, literally that you or your person or someone coming in as a musician, or maybe you meet through music. But the thing about music totems, like a guitar or a guitar pick or whatever it may be, it really is also about peace and harmony. So it's talking about needing to make some peace and create some harmony. So that could be within yourself or here we go with the healing card. And also here with the clearance, the seven of wands. And here we talked about um, unwanted thoughts dissolving. So I feel like for some of you that just might be a little bit about some self-talk that you need to let go of. But take that as it resonates. That is your reading today, Leo. Thank you for being here. I wish you well. Take good care of yourselves. Bye for now.